very good morning and welcome to the program the breakfast club my name is ishmael mkandl uh, today my guest is engineer ernest rafomoyo who is the councillor for what 20 which is in kulumane 1 and kulumane 12. thank you so much uh, councillor rafomoyo for joining us on our program today welcome thanks my first question is i would like to find out um who is uh, engineer rafomoyo Engineer Afamoyo was born 1968 in Mashungo. Then after after all the tertiary tertiary training, because of the love of Ndevele, I I was I traveled I, I really left Harare for the love of Bulawayo. That was in 91. After my graduation, I joined the Bulawayo and I was working as an artisan through all the thick and things with the Zesa, a lot of big companies which were working in Bulawayo during then. Then early 1995, when the economy started getting, you know, all these things, when the economy started being affected by the whichever the government was running then, mm -hmm. then that's when we really, as before I was also a representative of the students when I was at college, I started representing the workers. From there onwards, from there onwards, we joined the trade union, which was being led by the late, after joining the trade union, I was the secretary general of the construction industry in Bulawayo, the region secretary for, for, for that uh, union. Then later on, 1997, that's when I became a politician. We started joining the politics. And uh, that's also when I have already started opening my own company, doing electrical engineering. Then 99, well, you moved. Then 2000, well, I was really then a baptized politician. <laughs> we moved on. 2002, well, I became an, a community representative. That was the trade of the ward yes. with the residents' associations. Then the representation of people also gets in my life more and more. I was affected about the community development. And the people appreciated the way which we were treating issues of the residents in the community. Then 2008, the harmonized direction. I'm sure this was the, 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 the landslide. When we had the landslide victory, I was one of those ones who won as the councillor for Ward 20. That's when I started being a legislator. 2008, my really, when I get into office, the interest about the community of Ward 20 was the issue of water. We wanted an extra source of water in our ward. The previous councillors had said, no, we couldn't get water there, which may be the technical side of where I come from assisted me to move towards the exploring the means of water. That's when really we were lucky. I really also as a legislator, the, the incoming legislator 2008, talked with the World Vision. They accepted my request to come and ascertain and find if we could get water. Very lucky the community we were. They managed to drill for us nine balls, which was an outbreak. You know, because it was said, no, the area, we cannot get any other source of water. But then we managed to get that one. That was 2008, 2009, 2010. We, because of the source of water which we had, we then uh, entered into the greening project of the community that was gardening, which, which really we had about four. We, we introduced four commercial gardens, which were run by the community which benefited about 600 families in the community, and they are even now benefiting. The, I'm happy to say, from those gardens, I have got graduate from, NAS, from NASA, graduate from, MS, from Midlands State University, which were, their funds were paid, their school fees were paid from the resources, which, from the products which they got from the garden. Which other issues do you want to address in your third term uh, as a councillor for what trend? A number of issues. We basically in Bulawayo, in, in my community, to get down to the community, I'm really focusing on productivity in that community. I, I really want to turn the, the word itself. Of course, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I, the word is, it, 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 it has industries also in it. Yes. So basically, I'm targeting on productivity from all those, those avenues where productivity can be manufactured, where productivity can be milked. That's one. Then basically, as an engineer, of course, I have already started that issue of developing the youth in developing them in the skills, self-skills training. I've been doing that for free for school leavers in the world. So this, this 
youth development is really my play is really my i can say the, the driving in the inner drive of my, my my life which i want also the the youth to enjoy and to grasp from my experiences in your past two terms as a councillor for 20 uh, can you share with us your highest achievement well my highest achievement is basically we have got one the secondary school which we are introducing the word which was not there that is one the second one is of course that one of water i won't leave it because it's life to my achievements <laughs> to life is that, 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 that one i don't even leave it and also as a politician i won't even leave this one of being a graduate when whilst you are a politician whilst you are doing things for the people and you also want to develop yourself that is also an achievement which i would also include in my life and also a marriage <laughs> 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 so you mean to tell me that you got married? Uh... No, no, no. Well, well, I got married, but after being a legislator, my my, my beloved wife, she became like really my my the back of my successes. Okay. So I will also include her in my all my successes. Can you share with us what were the challenges in your previous tenure and how did you overcome them? The the main challenge it was my first term, the issue of uh, origin. Mm. That was the major challenge. Which really, when I took it, I said, no, how would I succeed? But it was very interesting mm -hmm. because that's when I learned that development is not selective. It doesn't even select where you come from. Whenever I brought development to a community, everyone benefit. So this one, this challenge, it was really, I attended the other way because of the, the development which people need. Mm -hmm. Really attended that challenge. And also that of the infrastructure. Well, the infrastructure in the world is old. And also it was done for the few, few households that now where the households have been added. That infrastructure, it was a challenge, but we have managed, I've managed to overcome that infrastructure due to introduction of community-based projects, assisting the local authority, whereby people volunteer to assist the community to improve the infrastructure which we are having in the community. Right, that really changed that challenge into a success. You are one of the candidates running for the mayor position. Uh, what makes you a, a unique candidate from the others? Well, the really thing which makes me a unique candidate is that one, I'm an engineer. Mm -hmm. The development of a city is backed by the engineers. Well, I can interact, I can bestly understand all the language of development in the community mm -hmm. and in the city of Ulawai mm -hmm. because I'm an engineer. The second one, being an older man, it's another way, it's a, all the other way, I've got the vast experience. I've gone through conflicts in the, in the, in the local authorities yes. and we have improved those conflicts. We have find ways of resolving them. That makes me a unique, really. Mm -hmm. Then the other one, I am a Christian. It makes me a unique. <laughs> <laughs> if elected uh, into the office of the mayor of Bulawa, can you give us at least a, uh, a few things that you're going to change uh, as a mayor of Bulawa? Basically, the first thing which I would do is improving the wage bill. The wage bill. That, is, that is the real thing, which is milking the city of Bulawayo. The wage bill, I will have to deal with it. And I've got also the, the ideas of how the city will not even remain focusing on only receiving rates from the repairs. There are a lot of avenues for the city which we can get some money, cash. For example, I can give you an example of the, 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 the car meters. The, the, those the prepared car meters. It's a lot of money, about three million per month, which the city should get, get, could get, which is also, which can even pay the wages of the local authority per month. Mm -hmm. This project of car meters is really the one which I will push, and that one which I've already mentioned before. Mm. Mm. So, what is your favorite place in Malawi? Which one is your favorite place in Malawi? The favorite place in Malawi. Like to spend time. Well, I'm very unique. Mm -hmm. I'll be very happy spending time in Guloman. Well, in my own world. <laughs> that is number one. Then the other, because I have to be out of Guloman. Mm -hmm. When I'm out of Guloman, well, Ascot. That's quite. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's really it. To spend time. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I would like to find out from you, um, what are some of the issues that the youth are actually are concerned about from your work? Basically, the main issue which they were telling me is that we have got a site for the training center for the youth. Yeah. They were saying if you could give that center up and finished, yeah. then they will be trained there. As, as, for Bulawayo as a whole, really training centers, that is my number two priority. Yeah. 
that we have to build training centers. We have to introduce training centers for the youth. It's, Zimbabwe is not going to remain like this. It is going to improve. Mm. So we have to train them such that when the Zimbabwe improves, they will be already ready for the market. How is your relationship like with the, the residents? The women, the men, everyone in your community, how, how mm. do you relate with them? No, it's good, it's fatherly. Mm -hmm. When you're a father, you've got kids, they are not all the same. Mm. That relationship is, I, with me, I, I appreciate it. It's, it's so, it's, it's good. Mm. Mm, it's good. Okay. In your previous term as the Ward Councillor for Ward 20, what do you think um, you could have done better uh, that you're going to do in your current term? Well, the, basically the infrastructure, I, I feel like we have to improve the infrastructure in this term. Because because of the resources and also maybe all, all the plans which were there, which you find there, which we have already changed, a lot of them. Mm. We have changed a lot of them. I haven't mentioned them. Well, we have to improve the infrastructure, basically. We have also to improve the, the to, to, to improve, change the mindset of the residents and the mindset of the staff, such that they are all one thing. Mm. They make one team. And the improvement of Lawayo needs them to be united. We have heard so much talk about uh, Bulawayo being the best run city. Uh, what makes Bulawayo the best city? According to my own view, is the culture which was created by the legislator, the, the legislators which comes in, they find the culture which is that of consultative issue, mm -hmm. the issue of leading from behind, the issue of asking the residents, the owner of the city, what they want to be done, and we do that. That is really the culture which makes Bulawayo the leader in local government. You don't lead people, you, you don't lead people who doesn't tell you what to do. You have to do what you are told to do, not what you want to do. Okay. In terms of, um, we have also had other organizations uh, doing surveys and researches and they said Bulawayo is one of the worst cities. Do you believe we are the one of the worst cities in Bulawayo? It depends with the corner where someone is looking below. Yes, they are talking of things like housing, governance, infrastructure, and the environment. Well, because of the infrastructure, which is of course old, mm. but when we compare it in the region, below is the best. That's, that's, that's the reality, which is on the ground. It all depends with the, how someone wants it to be seen at. But with Bulawayo in the region, Sadak region, it's the best run city. I will really, really put my head on that. <laughs> then we, we, we have to see how best they want it to be better. Of course, we are all striving for the city to be best. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are going to do. Yeah. And we'll do that. Earlier on, you spoke about the issue of origin. Should origin of a person be of question when it comes to who becomes the mayor of Lawaya? It was during the 80s. Now we are living in a global, in a global village. It doesn't work. It doesn't hold water. Really, we are living in a global village. We are, well, I'm married to Ndevele. Mm -hmm. my, my children, they don't even speak Shona. They speak Ndevele. So, well, whoever is saying that is related somehow to another region. Mm -hmm. So that one is a thing of the past with the global village which we are. And also with, with the, what I know, with what I've learned, that is, when we are talking of a city, we are talking of development. Development doesn't select whichever tribe. Everyone wants it. So, and everyone can bring it. Don't you think it's time the Bulawayo City Council actually revises uh, its bylaws to accommodate the current economic situation? Of course, yes. Because they, that's why legislators are elected. Yeah. They are elected to change the bylaws or to improve it. But they haven't changed some of them. What's no, it, it's like when bylaws are changed, it's not, it's not really like it's publicized that they have changed. Mm. I can tell you about the issue of uh, change of use. It's a bylaw which was affecting the business in Bulawayo, and we improved it. I am even the one who, who proposed for that, mm. and it's working. If your business is not running, but you've applied to run to, to, to maybe for a, a car mo a motor sale, mm. that motor sale is not working, you are allowed, you can change it to just with a, with a click. You change it, you change it to maybe manufacturing. That's a bylaw which affects everyone. That's the global global thing which you are talking of. So if some from, from UK comes in and say, no, my business needs to be adjusted this way, 
then we change it's already there it's a matter of just apply what are you guys doing as the city fathers to actually um improve the situation for the vendors who are all over the streets of Bulawayo? You, you know, on, 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 on Rafa Moyo, the coming year, mm -hmm. it's really saying we are going to change the life of vendors to entrepreneurs, and which is a means of making millionaires in Bulawayo. <laughs> that is what we are going to do, right? The issue of, uh, we, have, we don't have to run away with the situation which we are in in Zimbabwe. That is why we are seeing running in and running away of, of things. It's because things are not, are not normal. We don't expect normal things now, but they are coming. That's why we are here. Yeah, they are coming. Your last words to the people of Lawyer. My last words is really development doesn't select. It really touches everyone in the community. It's not selective. So with the development, development is always my 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 dream i will always keep on calling for development to wherever i am to the community to bulawayo and zimbabwe as a whole thank you so much engineer for coming to the program thank you very much you're welcome you've been watching the breakfast club with me Shmailem till we meet again on another program it's goodbye